Question number nine. So question number nine says, write the equation that models the situation below. So it says, Thomas invests $2,000 into a savings account for their child. The account earns simple interest at a rate of 4.5% per year. When the child turns 16 years old, how much is the account worth? All right. So essentially, guys, we're going to be using something like art. Okay. However, we're going to use a formula that they gave. Okay. So we're going to say that this 2000 still represents the initial, but in this case, it's representing P. All right. We're going to still say that this 4.5 is the decimal, is the percentage, all right, or the rate, but you need to convert it to a decimal, all right? So again, for this one, we're going to convert it to a decimal, okay? So this is still your rate or your R, okay? And this 16 is still your time, all right? So when we replace this, guys, okay, we would say 2,000 parentheses, one plus your rate. So I'm going to convert my rate from a percentage to a decimal. So 4.5 as a decimal, you move the decimal point two times to the left. All right. So we have a placeholder here. That would be a zero. So this would be the same as 0 0.045. All right. Then I'm going to multiply that by my time. And my time is 16. All right. So you would go ahead and put this in your calculator. And when you put this exact thing in your calculator, you get 3,440. All right. So the answer would be this one. All right. So it's kind of like using y equal a r t. All right. However, in this case, they are already telling you that you're going to be doing a growth, all right? So they're already telling you that you're going to be adding. So that's why you don't need to add it to one, all right? You're just going to convert it to a person, from a, de a percentage to a decimal, then multiply it by the time. So in this case, the time is not the exponent, but what you're multiplying your rate by. So you're still using the same formula. So if you used art, this is what you would end up having. Um, because you're earning, this will be 1.045 to the 16th power. That's what you think you should have. But because they're, you're not calculating exponential growth, but you're calculating simple interest, that is why you do it like this, all right? Not like this. So not like this, okay? So again, guys, know the difference.